YouTubers. So it is that time for a haul video. Uh, went into Sephora, placed an order at Sephora, got some stuff that my hairdresser, uh, some stuff at Ulta, a couple things were sent to me. So I'm going to jump right in. I'm going to start with this because it's big and it's kind of in the way. Is the new spring Fab Fit Fun box just came in to me yesterday. And I did open it up and take a look, but I'm going to open it up and kind of go through it for you guys. So what it is, is when you get the box, it actually comes with a little thing here and it explains to you everything that's in the box. And it's really cute and helpful. And, and so when you open it up, uh, it has a Sterling Forever Shine Bright gift card, or little gift card, um, some information, I am that girl, 31, um, and oh, this is the one of the items in there. So I will show you what the box looks like when it's opened up. This is what the box looks like. Woo! And I will go through everything that came into it. So one of the first things in the box is something called Hello Legs for the softest, shiniest, sexiest, smoothest legs ever. And that's what this looks like. Uh, just white packaging. Pretty cute. Um, it comes with a Marrakesh oil argon and a hemp oil therapy hair styling elixir. And it's a pump. Glass bottle. Very nice. Uh, the next thing is Ish Contour Kit in light medium. This is what the packaging looks like. Let's open it up and take a look at what it actually is. I did not do that yet. Um, oh, cool. Oh, and they're all powders. Oh, pretty. So it has two bronzers. I think that's at the bottom here. It has the blush and then the highlighter. Oh, cool. I'm excited to play with that. So that'll be fun. Uh, then it has, what are these? It is called Matte Strap Plus. And it's for, let's see here, Versatile Matte Strap it tells you you can download different exercises for it and things like that for at home. That'll come in handy at the Cape this summer. Um, there is a Happy Dreams Love and Inspire Juke and Nona. It's a little necklace that says love. It's really cute, little gold necklace that says love on it. It's just a bar necklace. That's really cute. And then my language is, skills are not good. Love song and a bath bomb. Bath bomb in Trinity. Ooh. Ooh, they smell really pretty. So there's three bath bombs in there in the box. I'm not sure what the front of the box looks like. It's really cute. Cute little box. Oops. Down that way. Um, let's see here. Keratin gloves and socks. Nail strengthening and skin nourishing. Oh, that's pretty cool like a clear plastic perfect spa treatment for home and travel that'll be fun and then this is what the instructions were for on this bigger part it's called kitchen herb garden do-it-yourself kit so it has mint thyme and basil for in your kitchen so i will definitely do that that'll be fun um i love stuff like that anyway so i'm always buying that kind of stuff so why not set that down so that is out of the way then, um, let's see here, went to Ulta. My sister-in-law told me about this Kardashian sun-kissed line, <clears throat> which I am not particularly someone who usually purchases many Kardashian items. Like when they came out with the makeup line, I wasn't, I didn't feel the need to buy it. Um, but she loves the gradual sunless lotion and I'm about almost all the way through this already. And I also picked up the instant sunless spray because I actually like sunless sprays for things like my hands and my feet. So, um, and I've been using a self tanner called Coco Bronze, and this lighting makes it so you cannot tell that at all. But I actually have a self tan right now. But I've been using this in between, and I'm actually really liking it. It smells very fruity, and it stays that fruity smell. Um, I also picked up, I had heard someone talk about the NYX Dark Circle Corrector. I picked this up. And when I picked it up, I had no idea. This was the only one they had there, and they had a bunch of it. I had a no idea that uh, I picked up the color deep. And I didn't realize that until I got it home. So this is going to have to go back. I remember I had trouble getting it out of here, too. I didn't even bother to swatch it. It's way too dark for me, as you can tell. So it still has the plastic over it. I just realized that. <laughs> um, so that's got to go back. 
probably shouldn't should have gotten fair or light, but I didn't realize there were different colors. The display didn't say anything about different colors, and this was the only one there, so I thought it was one. Um, I had a nail polish that I had done at the salon the last time I went, not this time, and um, I loved the color, but it wasn't a brand that I could find, so I was trying to find something similar, and this is very close, but it's not perfect. The uh, Revlon Nail Enamel in Plum Seduction 917. I love this color. Very fun. Uh, went to my hairdresser, got my hair done. Um, had a colored and partial highlights before the wedding. My brother's wedding is two weeks now, give or take. It's like the 17th, I think. Uh, I picked up another one on my BB Hairdresser's Invisible Oil. As much as I love the chlorine line, I love their mask conditioner, but their everyday conditioner just isn't quite enough for me, so I only picked up the conditioner. Then uh, I had a couple items sent to me. The first one is from First Aid Beauty and is the Eye Judy Triple Remedy AM Gel Cream to revive and rejuvenate. Um, so I'm excited to give this a try because that's one thing I have not been buying is eye creams. I've been um, using what I have. Huh, small little container. It's a little container with a pump to it. Come here. Cute. But most eye creams aren't huge. Um, and then... Uh, Scentbird sent me their April perfume of the month. It is Lisa Hoffman Tuscan Fig, and it has vanilla bean fig, honeysuckle, and gardenia. And I wore this when I was away, what was it, last week at Easter? Not the one that's recently gone by, but the one before that. Um, and it just smells, I don't have any perfume on right now, so. I love this scent. It's just so pretty. I can't, it wouldn't be something I would have thought to pick, but it's so nice. So Scentbird sends you basically a little package. You twist this up, and that's the spray. Um, it is a different scent every month, and it's really quite cool. It comes in a little pouch, so you can take it with you easily. It's a really, really awesome concept. Uh, last bit will be Sephora. Let's start with what I picked up. I was at... Um, I was away for Easter, and I went to the mall with Marty to pick up some stuff for Easter, and I was in Target, ran into a lovely, sweet subscriber, Cassandra. She was so sweet. Then her sister and her aunt came over as well, and um, I met her as I was walking out of Target, and I told her, I said, oh, Marty just ran to the car. I said, I'm running over to Sephora um, just to pick up a couple things that, because when I got there, my Marc Jacobs highliner ran out that morning, so I wanted to go pick one up. And my Benefit Give Me Brow was like at the end of its life, so I picked up another one of this. Um, I picked this up in the color light to medium. Just, you guys have seen this before. I use this all the time. It's all I have on my brows right now. Uh, I really, really, really enjoy this. It's really nice and I like it a lot. It's just the size of that little brush is awesome. So I went in to pick up a Marc Jacobs highliner in the color blacker, 42 which is what I use all the time. But while I was there, um, I saw this. And I feel like I heard someone talk about this, but again, I have no idea who it was. Um, and it is the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner in Blacker. And this is, um, the packaging is pretty much the same. This is the Fine Liner. It is so, 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 so tiny, 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 minuscule. It is so ridiculously tiny. It's just like, it's so cool. It's just ridiculous how tiny it is. It really, really gets up in that tight line. And it's pretty much, I think, the same thing as the highliner. It's a little bit thinner. It does go on a little bit easier. I would be interested. I will have to sit there. When I go to review this, I will have to look at how much is in this and the price versus how much is in this and the price. But I'm really enjoying this. I really do like it. Um, the last item I picked up when I was in the store um, that caught my interest, I had heard someone say that this is comparable to the Chanel Le Volume de Chanel, and I had a sample of what I thought was this, and it wasn't. I really like the sample, but this is even better, and it is the Marc Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara. And this is what the box looks like, and this is a big, big, big tube of mascara. Like, this is a big mammer jammer. Like, it is huge, this thing. Um, very nicely done. The brush is so nice. It is really, really, really hard to explain this brush. 
It is different than the Chanel, but it has these like dips in the brush that just really kind of, I don't know how to explain it. They really get at the base of the lashes. So you literally can do this just down at the base, wiggle it up and work your way up. And it's what I have on my lashes right now. And I am in love with it. It is so nice and so awesome. It is definitely a contender against that Chanel Le Volume de Chanel. Then I placed an order at Sephora.com. Oh, I haven't played .com. Picked up another one of my Smith's Strawberry Lip Balm. Love this stuff. I keep one in my bathroom and one on my vanity. And I use them all the time. One thing that I have on today, and it is all I have on my lids today, is the Clinique Chubby Stick in ample amber okay let's see this is what the stick looks like it's just a really pretty like good summery bronzy peachy kind of color just very 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 nice very pretty nice shine to it easy to throw on the lids kind of weird it doesn't stay great it's kind of that's my only downside with it um, I picked up the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation Stick, Invisible Coverage Stick Foundation. Picked this up in the color number 125, which is Y315. This is what the packaging looks like. You know, it's a stick foundation. Oops. Okay. All right. So that's right over here. You can see that. It's pretty just good match for my skin tone. Um, I think I have to work my lighting for summer because I'm so washed out. You guys aren't seeing like the self tanning. Uh, but I was on this hunt basically for kind of that, what you saw there was the peach chubby stick. I wanted a nice bronze one, but I didn't want a whole lot of shimmer to it. But I'm finding they all do. So I also picked, I ordered a bunch of different ones. The Bobbi Brown Long Wear Cream Shadow Stick in the color taupe. The word taupe scares me. Just in game. I love her taupes on her, but man, taupes don't work for me. Has a little brown. Oh, let me show you here. I'll swatch it. Um, it's very, very, very pretty. I would say I think this one has the. I it barely has. If it has any sheen to it at all, I'm not seeing it. So that's the one right there. It is just beautiful, gorgeous color. I think I'm gonna love this one. <clears throat> I'm very excited. I picked that one up. I also got some others because I was looking to find the right thing. I got the Dolce & Gabbana Zara's Beige. I think I was telling you guys about this. I was like, ooh, I kid you not. Like, it's called Zamba's Beige or something like that. How many of you think this is beige? Like, you should see the swatch on Sephora's site. Nothing about that. Like, I didn't even bother to swatch it. Like, this is just going back. Like, that's not beige. That's like almost black it's so dark um i picked up the makeup forever aqua cream in number 12 because i already love makeup forever aqua creams so i figured i could get it in a pretty like gold color so i'm not sure i haven't swatched this one because i have a feeling i kind of like the chubby stick better this reminds me more of max paint pot in like rubenesque i think it was called and i have one of those um i picked up the Burberry Eye Color Cream Gold Copper Number 100. Packaging is gorgeous for this, like typical Burberry packaging. I don't know. This one's more of a taupe. This one I would call more taupe. Just isn't that golden undertone I was hoping for. Um, I did swatch this one. I will put a swatch here for you to see as well. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. This one... Tell me your thoughts, because I guarantee you I won't have... Okay, so it's the swatch right there. I don't know, that's actually pretty. What do you guys think about that? I don't know. That one I'm really torn on. Really torn on that one. Um, Kristen Game and I were also talking recently about um, nude sticks. Whoa! Sorry. <laughs> and... Um, she really likes them, and I was excited. I found this one called Nude Sticks, and it's mini collection. What is the name of these? Magnetic Eye Color Pencil Set in Gilt and Immortal. 
So I was excited because essentially it comes in this cool little tin. This is yours. So this is what the tin looks like. It's super cute. It has like leopard print. You open it up. It has the instructions of how to use it. On the inside are the two pencils and then this little piece here. And the little piece here is the sharpener. How cool is that? So it does come with the two colors inside, gilt and immortal. Gilt is the one you're supposed to put all over the lid and then immortal on the crease. I tried these last night right before I went to bed to see if I liked it. I like the gilt. The immortal is, I don't know, when you put, okay. So when you look at the swatch here, so you've got immortal on this side and gilt on this side. And when you look at them, it looks like it would be very pretty. But when you blend out that gilt, it gets a weird, like, grayish undertone to it. See that? See how fast that happened? How it got that grayish undertone to it? So I wanted to like this, but I don't know. Is that going to happen with the Bobby Brown one, too? Mm, not as much so. That one still has a reddish undertone to it. Which that's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for some sort of cream shadow base, like something like that for the summertime that has a warmer undertone to it. They all seem to have cool undertones. So um, I also picked up another one of the Dr. Jart Water Replenishment Cotton Sheet Mask. I love these things. I'm going to use this the morning of the wedding. Got a sample of the Vibrancy, uh, Josie Marin's new, what is this? Foundation fluid, argan oil and foundation fluid. Picked it up in the color, what was the color? Juicy. I was told that, that would be the right oh, match for me. Let's see. I haven't opened this up, obviously. And it's taking crazy pumps. Mm, it's a little bit light. It has a nice feel to it. It's right down there. It's a little bit light, but I can work with it for a sample. Not bad. It has a scent to it. I can't put my finger on it. Um, and I just got a Smashbox photo finish primer that was in there. And that is everything. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know there wasn't a whole lot, but I mean, there's still a good amount of stuff here. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions. And let's see here, what else I am wearing. On my face, I have on the Guerlain Lessors primer, which they did come back out with. I will put a link below. Love that stuff. So excited they came back out with that. I don't know if it's limited edition now still. If it is, I'm going to grab a bunch of them. Love that stuff. I have on the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick Foundation, um, Tart CC Corrector, Urban Decay Naked Concealer Under the Eyes, MAC Prep and Prime Radiant Rose in the Highlighting Planes, Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder Under the Eyes, Laura Mercier Translucent Powder All Over the Face, uh, Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, Urban Decay Naked Blush Palette, if you're looking at the blush palette, the bottom to right, I love mixing those two together. A little bit of Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, the Jaclyn Hill one, Champagne Pop. Um, on my eyes is Dolce & Gabbana, one of those cream shadows in the color Nude, with the Clinique Chubby Stick that I showed. Uh, Benefit Gimme Brow, the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner on the waterline, and then Marc Jacobs, the... Um, like liquid liner on my top line, the Marc Jacobs mascara on my eyelashes, uh, Marc Jacobs primrose on the lips with the Sephora lip stain and peach something I think it is, and then white Russian, Buxom white Russian gloss. Uh, I have on my little Sussy shirt, isn't that cute? Uh, I have on the Twilight um, necklace. I have on my hoops because I felt like wearing hoops today. Um, I just went blank on the name of this wrap bracelet. I love this one. I have on my David Yerman, my Maylee, and all my other normal stuff. And that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any other questions. And as always, thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.